Let me see a chicken take down at least one zombie. Come on, there's feathers everywhere. And there goes the chickens. That didn't last long. What's going on guys? Dragas here and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today we're going to be doing some viewer requested battles. Uh, starting off with, we got a very interesting one, some World War II era zombies. This is one team of zombies versus one team of U.S. soldiers. This was the most requested thing for me to do, that is check out both of these units. So I figured I would blend them together and have some World War II era zombie plagues. It should be fun. So in the middle here, we got our soldier groups right on the coastline here. I kind of made it uh, spread out because, you know, zombies aren't all in one big group. They generally form smaller zergs, if you will, and, uh, you know, strength in numbers works with them. So we got uh, a bunch of different, actually 5,000 total of 1,000 each zombies just randomly around them. And in the back here, uh, this is the big zerg of zombies. They have 10,000 there for a grand total of obviously 15,000 against 1,000 World War II era units. I have no idea who's going to beat this one. I mean, obviously the World War II era units have the range on these guys, but 15,000 is a lot to take down. All right, so here we are with our wonderful soldiers here. We got uh, a remaining amount of 1,000, of course, and you can see, uh, yes, they are indeed World War II era soldiers. And around the map, let's go to the big zerg. Because it's way over here. We got the zombies. Now, 10,000 strong over here. Uh, this one's going to be the one that's going to probably take them down. I think they might actually be able to deal with the other ones. I intentionally put this one far away so they come late. But, uh, yes, here's the zombies. Only a face a mother could love. Let's get this thing started. And, uh, yeah, let's see how these guys can do against these guys. Oh, look at this. The zombie plague has started, and they got a ways to go before they even get close to these guys. These guys are already shooting. Oh, shit. I didn't expect them to be, uh, able to get that type of range on these guys. So we might need a lot more zombies to take these things down. Because as you can see... Oh, this is so cool to watch. This 1,000 is not going to last very long. But they're going to be busy with this pack, and they got packs coming in from all sides right now. So they have uh, room to be worried here. We got a bunch of guys over here. Is it two packs over here? I actually forget. They're already shooting them, and they can't even see them over this hill. All right. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is so cool. Now, I honestly, I forget where a lot of them are, so we're kind of going to have to learn together. Let's uh, zoom out here just to kind of see how they're doing at getting closer. Looks like that pack is more or less dead. They got another pack over here. They're splitting up their shooting. This pack is solely focused on this pack over here. Nobody's affecting these guys in the back here, and I think this is going to be interesting. Of course, our big plague. Man, it's a coming, and it's coming quick. <laughs> All right, it's looking like they stopped shooting these guys over here. So yes, the first 1,000 has unfortunately perished. They did not get very far at all. I didn't expect them to. I'm actually amazed at how quickly they are mowing down these guys. I mean, I know it's assault rifles, but god damn, this is World War II era. And yeah, this pack is just, as you can see, just dropping right away. So I think they're pretty much done. They are starting to shoot these guys in the back. They are getting pretty damn close, though. The thing is, they're so focused on these, and this is coming very, very soon. I think I saw, yes, a few of them are shooting towards the big Zerg now, but holy shit. This is so cool to watch. There's something about zombies just moving in one direction. It's awesome. All right, a thousand soldiers still remain. Are they going to be able to hold these guys off, though? Every one of the packs are getting closer. They did take down both of these packs over here, so they have no worries on the right-hand side. Left-hand side, it's looking like they're making good work of doing this as well. Uh, but regardless, they're getting a lot closer on this side. What they have to worry about is this over here, and as you can see, most of the shots are focused on the main Zerg now. And as you can see... Uh, doing pretty damn well, actually. But they don't got much time left. These zombies are getting really close, and I think 10,000 is simply too much for them, especially when their shots are so spread right now. They need to knock down these guys extremely quick for them to stand a chance here, I think, and I don't think it's going to happen. Look how they actually spread a line in the middle here. That's kind of cool. This was all one pack, and they spread out into two. Oh, because one's going for one, sir, or one side, one side's going for the other side. That's hilarious. Okay, you guys better change your fire quick here. They're getting, I mean, they're literally 50 feet away now. Not even that. And <laughs> they're just, they're just shooting everywhere. Like, 
they're not focusing on one pack. This pack's almost actually over here, but uh, the front lines are basically there now. Regardless, they still got a thousand units, so the front ones are probably gonna have a bad time here, but they are mowing them down, man. Like, these guys are hardly getting ahead. We need more units coming all at once. All right, how are these guys doing over here? There's not much left over here, as you can see. Once these guys are done, man, I think they might have it. I thought they were gonna get screwed, but holy shit, they are actually pushing them back. You can see, well, this is the furthest they've made it, and they're not even making it that far now, so I think they definitely might have this. It was really close, like quite literally 20 feet close, but holy shit, I I'm impressed. I truly am. Uh, I, I want to try this again with, uh, honestly, more zombies, because I think they can take on quite a bit. Regardless, they still might stand a chance. Again, it's not... I don't know how they, they would. I mean, some of these guys are getting a little bit ahead. They still got 8,000 strong, or rather, 6,000, I guess, now. I just looked, and uh, it was 8,000 before, so they are killing them extremely quickly. There's still some guys kind of on the mountains here, but uh, most of the enemies... Or, or rather, the most of the army is focusing on the main pack now. All right, it's not looking good for the zombies, guys, as you can see. Uh, I wonder if I can maybe lead some off here and give these guys another chance. So if I lead one of these guys, there's some way to tell them to go this way. Actually, it seems like... Do these guys just follow leads? No, they don't. Okay, so I'm just walking it uh, the wrong way now. All right, well, I can't believe it. I think they're actually making a mound of dead bodies now. You can see where most of them are dying. How's the back end doing here? Uh, we got a few coming down the mountain still, but there's, like, nothing left. I mean, these guys got absolutely destroyed. It bothers me because it was so close. Like, this was... This could have ended very, very badly for the army. They just had just enough firepower to seem to deal with it. I'm just excited to see the mountain of dead zombies now. Like, this thing is getting pretty damn big. You know you're a damn good team when 15,000 zombies attack you and not one has died yet. Ah, oh, zombie mountain is coming into place, guys. Quite li Oh, my God. I love how the bodies don't despawn, by the way. Uh, anything that dies just stays on the map and they stack up, which is so damn cool. Just to see where a lot of these guys died. Obviously, right here. And there's not too much left, as you can see. I don't know how you guys aren't shooting each other, to be honest. We haven't lost one soldier yet, and these guys are just constantly shooting. Oh, man, this is so cool. And it's official. There is no zombies left on the mountain. It took them a while to get rid of them, but uh, they just got these few left. There's only 120 remaining, so we got the final few going over Zombie Mountain here and basically dying right away. There it goes, the final one. Holy shit. <laughs> this is the ground right here. That Zombie Mountain. Like, seriously, look at all the dead freaking bodies and not one of you perished man i didn't expect that i expected some of them to die so obviously we need a few more zombies all right we're gonna try a similar attack but we're going to change it up a bit first of all 60,000 zombies yes that is correct now we're going to put these guys what i want to do is basically let's turn this around here and we're just going to let's bit make this how about let's see what a nine looks like oh man okay nine's a little bit too much a six should be good so basically what i want to happen is just have a long line of zombies here that way they can choose their own directions to get to them and they'll still be kind of spread out just because of how long this damn line is so we got you know what let's actually make this as probable as possible for the soldiers i actually forgot that i got rid of some of the soldiers so we're going to up that once again to a thousand a thousand seemed about right and we're going to expand these guys out as well we'll make this into a four that way they just have first of all a little bit more range and uh, a lot more people shooting all at once hopefully so let's get this started and i i gotta assume they're not gonna survive this all right here is a few good men 1000 soldiers here now let's go take a minute to appreciate i just want to see how long this line is and how thick it is oh my god. All right, so it put down 57,378. Uh, sometimes it's not perfect depending on the terrain. It will just get rid of some of them. But 57,000 zombies. That's a lot more than 15,000. Yeah. 
I'm going to say I'm going to give it to the zombies here. But I have been wrong probably more times than I've been right. So let's see what happens when this many zombies attack. And <laughs> look at this. They're going to be so spread out, it's going to be awesome. Imagine seeing this in the distance and realizing you only got a thousand people to deal with it. That is just horrifying. It's just a slow line coming towards us. And they're slowly spreading out. This is going to be really laggy, by the way, guys. I don't like to do these big-scale battles, but it's zombies. You kind of got to. Holy fuck. This is just absolutely crazy. When they start spreading out, it is ridiculous. We're getting a stable 9 FPS, by the way, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe I did a few too many. Regardless, it's so fun to see this anyways. I mean, they're in the water over here. They just keep going. It just keeps going down the line, as you can see. This is a lot... <laughs> of zombies and here they are they are within range now they're still really far away i don't know how many we're gonna kill from this distance i'm curious to see how many will take to the water though and try and come behind these guys because that's going to be the ones that probably get them they might be able to hold off the front lines for a little while i, I, I gotta assume it's not gonna last very long though considering how spread out these guys are they're gonna be able to overrun them guaranteed but uh yeah let's see how the front lines are looking uh, they are getting hit a little bit. You can see some blood on the ground there, but they are just moving forward with no problems at all. All right, this is a true zombie plague. They've killed 500 so far. Only 56,000 <laughs> to go. Uh, no big deal. And yeah, they're just, they're getting so close already. They're taking to the mountains. As you can see, they're going down the mountains. Uh, they're probably going to be around that corner very soon. And they just keep going. Like, they're all the way down over here as well. This is absolutely ridiculous. I feel so bad for these, uh... World War II fighters because, <laughs> yeah, they're screwed. <laughs> Guns can only do so much when you got 60,000 zombies attacking you. And, uh, yes, they're attacking right now. Oh, my God, the leg. I'm so sorry, guys. We're just going to go back here and wait it out a little bit. All right, here they go. They're going to make it to the enemies over here. But it's going to take them a while to actually get enough people there to uh, start killing them because obviously these front guys are probably going to be shooting the ones hitting them but he's being hit finally a soldier was actually hit by a zombie so that's a good start and it's just going to get worse when these guys get in on him too <laughs> oh my god this is so scary this is this is this would be the last thing i would want in real life this is my nightmare it truly is i love how they go to the edges i wonder why that is you can see they focus definitely on the edges first or maybe that's just the easiest way to get in because they're killing a lot of the uh middle guys here well it's looking like this is the end my friends they are slowly making their way up the sidelines here and they are not killing them off unfortunately these guys are so focused on the front guys that these back guys are simply just smacking them and I think it's just going to work like that slowly down the line. Let's see how the other side's doing. These guys over here are doing a bit better, but they haven't had z zombies for as long, so that's to be expected. 800 soldiers remaining, 50,000 zombies remaining, so they did a lot better this time. Uh, clearly, strength in numbers works. They are doing a good job at keeping these guys down in the middle, though. Uh, quite a few people die right about here, as you can see. And actually, over on this side, they seem to have focused their fire so much that they're actually pushing the zombie plague back. Now, that's going to work for a while, but, I mean, they're just slowly making their way down this line. So, they're obviously going to make it to them, and then they're going to have to focus their fire on two different spots. And that's when bad things are going to happen. Uh, but yeah, like even in the middle, these guys, some of them are getting very, very close to attacking. You can see uh, literally feet away here. And you can tell by their aim that they are literally just looking everywhere right now. <laughs> they don't know where to shoot because it's coming in from all sides. Well, unfortunately, it's looking like this is the end for our zombie exterminators, and they did a pretty good job. I mean, they killed 14,000, you know, pretty much on par with how they did in the first run through. So maybe, you know, I basically turned this up to, you know, not even 11. It's like 9,000. That was, which is way too many zombies for that amount of soldiers, but that's kind of the point it was really fun to see i just wanted to see how many they could kill to be honest they did really good here we got a few left how many do we got left 51 left wow it's so sad imagine being this guy knowing you'll be the last one alive or more or less the last one 
and you just watched all your friends die. That's just okay. That's way that's what's way too real. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to go there. But uh, yes, eleven down to ten. There goes the rest. Down to one. The zombies are victorious, but uh, they got a lot of dead bodies down here. You can't really see because they're standing on them, but they did lift up the earth quite a bit once again with all the dead bodies that they killed. So if you ever were curious how many zombies World War II era soldiers can take out before they die, about 15 for every one soldier it seems like, especially when there's a big zerg like that. My god, look at all the death though, like even back here, there was a lot of death. I mean, there's a lot of zombies still back here, too. I mean, they, they were ready to kill a lot of people. We still got things all the way in the back here, you can see. Jesus. The next most popular request was this guy versus this guy, a.k.a. Chuck Norris versus Chuck Norris. I don't know why, because we know that this guy's got a lot of HP, uh, but we might be surprised. We'll see what happens here. Oh. What the fuck? Chunk Norris cannot fight Chunk Norris. Float value beyond infinity. Override of time, space, continuum failed. Are you serious, game? Are you fucking serious? All right, I can see why people were requesting that now. I didn't expect that one. We got a fucking error here, guys. Did, did I, do I really have to? Okay, at least I don't need to restart the game on that one. <laughs> All right, the next one is the Battle of the Unit Categories. This was a, a very commonly requested one as well. That and having an eight-team battle just to see what happens. Uh, we'll probably try out that later on. Now, there is only seven categories in this game, at least currently, so we're only going to have seven teams. But I felt like it would be fun to have, like, a, an arena, arena a battle royal on top of this mountain here with all the different teams so i'm just gonna go down the line here picking try or at least trying to pick units that are going to be fair obviously there's going to be teams that are much stronger than other teams though so for the first one we'll do footmen that is the weakest of the melee units i think for the medieval actually you know what let's do some archers archers should be fun and we'll put those guys right in the corner over here and then we'll do the u.s soldiers on the other side of the battlefield that's probably going to be our only two ranged units so we'll have a nice spread of them they'll probably do very very well because there's gonna be so much going on the zombies let's uh put the zombie plague on this side over here now ancient greece what do we want you know what we've seen romans before we haven't seen spartan yet so let's try out some spartans they're probably gonna do very well uh i don't know why it says 250 i meant to make everything 500 so let's keep the units at 500 each mind you 500 spartans i i gotta give it to them at least for right now definitely not doing giant ogres we're going to do 500 ogres as well We'll put these guys over here. Well, I feel really bad for the animal team, but we got 500 chickens that are going to be basically, uh, I guess, dinner to the winner. <laughs> because there's no way they're going to win. And then for Team 8, I have no idea if this unit is good or not. Uh, we got the Golden Knight here. So I just put one in because I'm assuming it's a very powerful unit. The hero units are. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how this can do. Here's the spread. Let's actually try and even this out a little bit. I want to get these guys as close together as possible. That way they all fight each other. So you know what? We're going to bring this over here and we're going to put this here. And that's a nice little circle. So here we go. Let's see how this works. Holy shit, are these chickens huge or are these zombies small? Let's take a minute to appreciate the size of these damn chickens. I mean, I, I know some chickens can get huge, but that is ridiculous, uh, the, the size difference here. Anyways, we're on the battlefield now. Is everything loaded in? Yes, it is. So we got all our units over here. This is going to be cool. This one's going to be really fun. There's actually a mountainous region over here as well, so the archers are not going to be too overpowered, but we got the orcs over here, uh, the gunners over here. I got to give it... Who do I think's gonna win here? I think the Spartans will do really well, but we also got the World War II era shooters here. That's gonna do really well as well. I think I'm gonna give it to them. I gotta give it to the World War II dudes. Uh, also, the Golden Knight. Let's see what this guy looks like. I don't even know where I put him. I forget. Uh, yeah, here he is right over here. The dreaded Golden Knight. I have no idea how good this unit is, so he might die right away, or he might last a while. Who the hell knows? Anyways, the, the fight is starting. Chickens are going to be... Oh... Oh, you guys are so mean. All right, we got two... <laughs> chickens actually spread out. Uh, some are going to the archers over here. The other ones are fighting the zombies. Let me see a chicken take down at least one zombie. Come on, there's feathers everywhere. Holy shit. Okay, I don't think... I don't think I'm seeing one zombie fall, unfortunately. And there goes the chickens. That didn't last long. Surprise, surprise. All right, how are we doing over here? We got the Spartans. We got the ogres fighting each other. And we also got... The World War II era shooters in here as well. They're actually getting demolished. This is going to be a really good fight against Ogres and Spartans, though. 
Uh, where's the Golden Knight? Is he dead now? I don't even know. I really don't even know. I think he walked this way. I don't think he's over here. Uh, we got the zombies. Okay, so yeah, it's looking like... Is the Golden Knight over here? Oh, he did! He did die! He died to a few zombies. Alright, so the Golden Knight is not as good as I expected, obviously. So we got zombies going over to the archers here. I'm thinking probably the archers... Ah, maybe the zombies will win. I don't know. Uh, basically, we got three teams left, though. The... Spartans are kicking ass right now. Holy shit, I'm so mad I didn't try these guys until now because, my God, look at how good they're doing. Uh, and it's not going to go well for these. You two need to team up. That's what you guys need to do to take down these Spartans because the Ogres did not really dwindle their numbers much. How many do we have left? 313 remaining, so they did lose 200 of them in that battle. That might be enough to take them out here, but I don't think so. Ah, uh, because the zombies are actually doing well against the archers here, and their numbers are dwindling as well. Wouldn't that be weird if the zombies win? That would be the weirdest thing ever. It's not gonna happen, though. The Spartans are literally running down the mountain right now to kick some ass and take some names. Quite literally, it's basically 300 right now. There's 300 left, and they're kicking ass. Alright, thankfully, though, this gives the archers a chance because it's spreading out the zombies, and the Spartans are actually gonna take down... Oh my god, look at how quick they are. Holy shit. They are going to take down these zombies quick, which will help out the archers here. These the zombies actually are, obviously, if the Spartans didn't invade, they would have beat the archers here. And it's looking like we're going to have a zombie Spartan war for the ending. But obviously, I think we know which one's going to win. I should have stuck with these guys. I expected the World War II era, you know, guns to, you know, at least kill a few of these guys. I mean, they don't even got fucking armor on. How did they beat... The World War II era units, I do not know, but uh, yeah, they're making quick work. Very quick work of these zombies. Holy shit. This just makes me more interested in this unit. So Team 4, the Spartans are victorious. Zombies actually came in second place. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a great time trying out a lot of your viewers' suggested levels. Feel free to give me some more of them. You know, it's always nice to get your input on the fights that you guys would like to see. So if you want to see something, if you have anything of interest, put it in those comments. Maybe you'll see it in the next episode. As always, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.